Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Place. Say the Spire where I mean we're trying the Ironclad again. I, I used to love him, and then I hated him, and then I loved him again. Then he was the only character that I'm good at. Now I don't know. I might suck. <laughs> Can we do what we did on that defect run and get I again I have to say there's a potential path to two free elites. If I get one, I'd be over the moon. If I get two, I'd be thrilled. We will take a pommel early. Yeah, I'm willing to do it in this unique situation. Thanks for the upgraded strikes. <laughs> I will gain 150 gold to remove this. I didn't finish my train of thought from earlier. If I get one, I'll be thrilled. If I get two, over the moon. If I get three, that's not possible. If I get zero, I'll still be content. I honestly believe... I mean, Bag of Prep is great. That's a very great relic. Yeah, okay. We'll have other chances maybe to get Uppercut. We probably will not have other chances to get... Uh, bag of Prep. It pains me a little. So, by the way, we're definitely going to get two... Elites, which is, you can't ask for a better situation than that. To get two free relics at the start of your run. So, Sundial, as long as our deck remains thin, is real good. I still think an Armaments, I, all of these are pretty solid. Battle Trance is also great, but... Uh, Battle Trance, the thing is, you want to have something worth drawing. <laughs> in order to make it worth taking. Right now, our deck is almost exclusively Strikes and Defense, so... Turn one, we will take uh, an upgraded armament. Hey, it's gonna hit six cards. And again, what did I tell you, dude? Yunk, yunk, yunk. Very relic rich. New whetstone. All of our strikes are upgraded, which is gonna make it that much more painful for us to remove them. Uh, this is tough. It's almost like if you take a limit break, it's dead. But if you don't take a limit break, aren't you gonna spend the rest of your run being like. I wish I'd taken that dang limit break. So, I am going to take it. And, uh... I recognize... I recognize its deadness. I'm hopeful, even if we just got Vira. It's something. We could go 1 to 2, 2 to 4, 4 to 8. And, you know, at, at that level, you're starting to get into something a little bit more juicy. But... I think we do definitely want a Fear Potion. Who's our boss? Hmm, this lord. Uh, this is a weird one. Because I actually think that a Searing Blow is... Is it too late? How many question marks do we have? Two question marks. We're unlikely to get an upgrade. Here, I'm going to say no to Searing Blow, and it's a very advanced level technique for me to do that. Why do I say no to Searing Blow? Because we've already had Whetstone and Upgrade 2 cards as question mark options, or, or as node options, let's say. So we've missed out on opportunities to get this. So I think I'm going to just skip for now. I'm going to avoid the elite. I'd really, in contrast to our last deck, that, sorry, that last block was not necessary. Um, in contrast to our last deck, which was very good, by the way, we very nearly sniffed at beating Ascension. Hold on, let me think here. Um... Probably want to draw first, and then we just... Oh, okay, you're dead, actually. Um, we're actually having a great ability to essentially upgrade all of our cards here. So I want to make sure that we've got a deck that's, you know, is functional. It's getting things done. And the every card we add, I want it to be a card that we're adding to, like... I don't know, have a chance to upgrade it later, I guess. Dude, we got energy out of the reshuffle, which is something I legitimately have never considered before, but makes a lot of sense. Battle Trance becomes that much better every three times you shuffle. Okay. You're going to entangle us, which is unfortunate. But irrelevant. 21 damage. Good God. Oh, we're only taking eight. Not really that bad. 21 damage again is a bit of a slap in the face. 
Well, our whole deck is upgraded via armaments, at least. Dude, you gotta admit, we're getting that energy cycling real quickly. Four attacks will definitely kill you. Three attacks will kill you. It's a hard one for me. Cleave is really, really good against uh, bosses. Or, sorry, against birds is what I meant to say. Um, I think we'll take Flame Barrier just because we haven't really added any other blocks, but... Obviously, our non-upgraded strike is going to be our first target to be removed. And then we'll probably <sighs> upgrade Flame Barrier. The thing is, on a long enough fight, everything's going to be upgraded. We don't have to worry about that. So what power do we want? Well, not this, but that's okay. What we wanted was uh, definitely Demon Form. But oh well. So every time we gain block, we're doing five damage. So blocking is, there's definitely gonna be situations where it's the most appropriate option. I think this is one of them. Armaments is useless here. Everything is useless here. I don't know, I think we should be totally fine, but uh, no energy, huh? You never know. It could be it could be a bit touchy. It's amazing. I'm not mad about it, despite how it seems. Uh, but Demon Form, dude, would have absolutely destroyed this run. Again, I guess in the end, it's just an indication of how amazing that item is to begin with. That re uh, that power, I should say. All right. I think the full deck is upgraded now. So we need two of these, and then probably one of those. It would be nice to get the bash out there more often, but it's not always applicable. Uh, we're going to play this, and I guess we'll just play an armaments for five damage, but I do think we're about to get a sundial. No, we got one more shuffle. Okay. Honestly, in the end, Juggernaut might have given us the damage we needed to come out ahead in this fight, so uh, I'm no longer as perturbed by its existence as I was mere moments ago. Can we do 28 damage to you? To me, it seems fairly likely. Everything is upgraded, so it we could play a limit break if you want. Whatever floats your boat. Relatively safe fight. Okay. This is important. It's hard for me not to take a feed here. I think it's still good. It does get worse the later on you are. Um, Barricade is great if we can afford to play it. And is a close second, I think. Well, you know, I think I'm actually going to take Barricade. And then hope for an Energy Relic. Beautiful. Sozu's fine. Um, it's better than fine. It might be the best Relic in the game. I love potions still. People, I've been, accused is not the right word because that sounds, well, perhaps rightfully accusatory. No way we're avoiding an elite here. So we probably want to do this node. Um, just hold on a sec. I think we need to do this. Um... I've been accused of undervaluing potions. While that may be true, I still think Sozu is the best choice. Uh, hold on. 999, nine, nine. so it's 27 damage. We can at least only take 6 damage. It does require the use of our final potion. <laughs> 4 energy, that's definitely this right here. And I think we gotcha. Keep our gold, which is great because the shop is coming up. Now, flex, I think, is takeable here. It's the only thing that gives us a shot at the limit break. 
So I think just having... Why not? Just having, like, legitimately anything to hit that limit break. And we're gonna get, like, flex limit break all the time. It's gonna happen all the time. Sadly, this is kind of a... I don't really want to get hit for 14, but I think I'd rather punch through your armor than get... Then just not do very much damage to you and then get hit for 11. So, sounds good to me. Um, this one will probably... Do something like that. Barricade's useful, but it, it, it gets more useful on a longer fight. I don't really want this fight to be long, so hopefully, uh, mercifully, it doesn't prove me wrong. We were hoping to draw a limit break. Life goes on. He's probably dead next turn. Uh, we don't have... We do want to upgrade flex, of course. No limit break yet again. We do want to upgrade flex, but it's not mission critical, I think. Because Armaments is going to hit it most of the time anyway. Now, Twin Strike is great on a strength gaining build, but this is not a strength gaining build. I think that Seeing Red is very likely to not be a dead card. If I had taken Feed, I probably would do this. Because I have not taken Feed, I'm still going to do it. It makes our strikes worse, believe it or not, because of the fact that we have... Uh, Because of the fact that we have, uh, that, 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 what's the word I'm looking for here? Uh, we've upgraded, every single one of them was upgraded previously. But, it does give us heals. And we're gonna need the build block to get to where we want to go here anyway. I mean, if we're gonna go, uh, with... Yeah, I mean, I hate to say it, but if we're gonna go with Barricade, we pretty much need to pivot into, like, like a Body Slam sort of style here. Definitely cannot afford to remove basic defense right now. So I think we just go body slam, probably impervious, and then let it ride. Let's see. Bash, do not want. <laughs> Decay impervious. We would like another impervious. Okay, that's fine. That makes up for the bash. We have a very expensive deck now. Very thankful we got an energy relic. So what do you upgrade? Yep, uh, probably Body Slam. Barricade to guarantee its cheapness. Also pretty good. Yeah, I'm gonna go Barricade first, because I think now that we've gotten a, a more expensive deck with two Imperviouses, it's probably more relevant. So basically, Barricade needs to be played ASAP. I think we can get away with playing one Impervious. Just to make sure we take no damage this turn. Might as well. But we need to play Barricade ASAP, please. And we don't want to play our other Impervious without it. Uh, okay, um, this is pretty bad. Am I willing to play our other Impervious? No, because it's only protecting us from getting hit for 5 damage here. You know, Healing Flower would really make this run pop right now. So we want as much block as possible on this turn. Uh, this may be as much block as possible, but it's not as much block as possible immediately. So we're going to take 21 damage. It's okay. That's what the rest is available there for later. Um, and we are at lethal here. We're at 32. So one enemy's got to die. No longer at lethal. Just very, very scared. No wounds, please. Few wounds is probably a more realistic ask. Alright, thanks to Barricade, uh, that impervious draw probably means we just win. I hope. <laughs> In the meantime, if we really, really, really want to mess with it, Like, I'm just trying to think, okay? Obviously, I would like this guy to die. Um, he's adding too many wounds to our deck. I really don't think we can afford to screw around with this. You're doing 26. This takes us to 30 and kills you. 
Okay. What I was thinking is we could play as many... Uh, and, I, and now I think we should, but we have to watch out for dangerous turns. Um, but, like, why not try to gain as much HP as possible? There is a good reason. Every turn that goes on, three wounds are being added into this deck. And one bad draw kills us. I never realized the true danger of this fight. Holy crap. He's gonna kill us. I legitimately never in my life that I... Well, I guess it's because he's Ascension level 18, right? It's still the best Ironclad Ascension we've had since coming back to it. Not getting away with the free elite fight this time. The game is taking away all of its charity. I see a great path for us, though. Um, I'm gonna take 18. We get calipers. It's almost like a, it's a little passive barricade. It's enough to make me feel like I would probably be okay with building a body slam style deck early. By the way, I'm, I recognize we took damage early. We're gonna try to make up for that, and thankfully we got the right draw here. But I, I see a very question mark driven path that I'm extremely happy about. This is tough. Um, you know, I think corruption is it's hard, but I think I only take it after I get dead branch. That's that's my two cents there. Turn one, I'm happy to break even with you. Turn two, I'm happy to break you. Twelve damage. Seventeen damage. Uh, pardon me, sir. So we're going to be at a net negative here no matter what. Uh, and it's going to continue to be a net negative. And we might not kill you next turn. 17? Oh, we just got there. It's like one of the classic patterns you got to look for. Bash strike. Okay, so shrug it off is very nice. I think we should take a finesse. Two plus draw. And it's uh, a good early upgrade target. Basically a guaranteed block plus draw. Dude, Lantern is also good. Um, lovely. You're, I think he's going to frail me. No, I'm wrong about calipers, by the way. It doesn't mean you store block up to 15, which is sometimes how my brain interprets it. It means you lose 15 block no matter what. So you have to have at least 16 block to get anything out of it. To get anything meaningful, you need at least 20. So an Impervious does do something for us. I think Flame Barrier still completely works, and it helps us get there, but uh, I'm not a huge believer in the in this run, or in this, uh, in this relic. However, if we start to get real, like, uh, like uh, whenever you exhaust a card, gain five block, you know, something like that definitely helps us get there. So right now we're taking two damage, which I think is fine. Uh, and we can make sure you die. In fact, they're both, or all three of them, are presumably dead on this turn. Keeping the HP relatively good. Ah, this is a tough one. Because Armaments is good, possibly even great, but Uppercut. I think having a little bit more offense is not the worst idea. Just looking at our boss, okay, same boss. A boss I'm very happy to make uh, vulnerable and weak. Blood Vial is more healing. Always nice. This was my question mark driven path, so I'm very happy with where we're at so far. 15 card deck with a lot of good stuff. Want good question marks, please? If we can kill this guy first, that would be ideal. Honestly, go ahead and hit me. You've got to go. Don't draw Uppercut. Thank you. Don't draw Uppercut. All right, Flame Barrier is fine. We just want Uppercut Strike and you're probably dead. Not dead, but... I mean dead. Next turn. So if we go into the boss fight, you know, we have 50 HP. I'll probably be content with where we're at. Ghostly Armor, Pommel Cleave. I'm going to take Ghostly Armor. But it's with the knowledge that... Uh, Certainly, 
A, uh, a pommel is much better in a strength driven build, which we do not have. And this is like uppercut upgraded is just unstabilizing. And that's pretty much my whole goal here is just to keep this guy in a state where his attacks do less to me than my attacks do to him. And I mean, as of right now, mission accomplished. I would like to dual wield a body slam, but I think adding another shrug, it's just one of those cards that's almost always good to have, right? Uh, we'd have to look for one to kill here. Um, I'm gonna actually take an attack potion. I think we'll do it like this and like this. We'll strike one enemy and then fiend fire you for 14. We take three damage. Very killable enemies on, well, not on the next turn apparently, but soon after. Uh, well, you know, let's uh, roll over 13 block next turn. Fiendfire could always come back around. I wouldn't be too concerned about this just yet, but it is frustrating uh, that, you know, if we just drawn slightly differently, they would both be dead by now. Instead, I mean, we're just killing time. Roll over four block, you're at 12 HP, you're not dead, but that's okay too. Okay, so I think we're gonna be pretty well equipped for the boss fight, and you know, much like our last run, I feel confident going in. Now, this is the real question. And you know what, here's your real answer. If we could just replace every defend with a shrug, we'd be happy. This is only two block, but because we're gonna play this card every time, every time we draw it, without fail, I think that it's, it's the right call. Good, good. What we wanted is to not draw uh, Shrug It Off. And by Shrug It Off, I mean Uppercut. We drew it this turn, which is what we want. So that's 19, we need to do 27 damage to you. Then this will do nine. He's gonna roll over, only with one, but that's okay. So we're gonna roll over four block, which might be enough to make the difference here. And we drew Flame Barrier again. Honestly, I'm trying to think. If I go to 28, we won't roll over any blocks. So yeah, we'll just hit you with that. He's gonna take another 12 from just hitting us there. This is uh, potentially the dangerous situation, but we made it through just fine. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna be fine. We don't really have a, a super strong archetype going on right now, in my opinion, but we're getting there. We need some better attacks. Uh, I'm extremely pleased, by the way. Goodbye, ghostly armor, I'm sorry. Um, I'm extremely pleased that we took that uh, Yeah, we won't roll it anything over. Uh, I'm extremely pleased that we took that upgraded uppercut. Were it not for that, might be slightly more concerned. Honestly, he's not weak. I'm willing to hit him with that. I know we're gonna take some damage, but also apply status effects to him long term. And it's very merciful that this guy applies no status effects to us. So we can roll over. I mean, we get the 28 block. We'll roll over one block next turn. Not really something I'm super interested in. Very happy to have him blow himself out here. Draw uppercut, please. No such luck, but we probably got you next turn. Uh, it got you rolling over, at least. Uppercut takes you there by default. Okay, um, I mean, it's the same. I, I, I don't want to sound like I'm stuck in a rut with the Ironclad, but you're kind of always looking for the same cards. We want a barricade, maybe. We want a demon form, definitely. Yeah, we got him. Uh, I mean, Demon Form plus Energy Relic is, is a really good start. So no Demon Form. We did get Barricade. We have so much block. I know you're like, I, I can't believe he takes Barricade every time. Fiendfire is so good. Immolate can be so good as well. If you get like a True Grid, you can exhaust your burns. Or even just something that allows you to play statuses like the First Aid Kit. Fiendfire is great damage, don't get me wrong. But dude, I know it kind of overrides Calipers. But Barricade on a run in which we have... 
on the first floor. Three shrugs, finesse, flame barrier, ghostly armor. Seems right to me. So, um... I hate this. I mean, I just hate it a lot. Uh... I think we're going to take Lizard Tail for survivability. Runic Dome, if it were not Ascension 18, where elites have more challenging movesets and abilities that we've never seen before, I would probably be content to give it a try. However, it is Ascension 18, so I don't think we can do that. So basically, uh, it's tough, because, I mean, this literally just kills this guy. But it doesn't allow us to play the barricade, so... Is the barricade that important? I think it's probably more important to just kill an enemy turn one. And then actually, I guess the good news is... Calipers is gonna roll over 15 block or so. Or sorry, 10 block. So that gives us a bit of a leg up here. We'd still 100% want barricade. Okay. 38, we're taking 24, so we're rolling over zero block. We're really just waiting for Flame Barrier to come back. I can't hit you three times, I'm sorry to tell you. I can at least weaken you, take six damage off. And a turn in which they're not attacking. I draw a flame barrier. Still no barricade, huh? Uh, there you go. So we're gonna have 10 block. This is real dangerous, dude. Please draw a flame barrier. 28, and you're doing 36, 36. Well, again, I mean, I don't see a better way around this. It's Flame Barrier! Okay, so we are going to take some damage, but you are all going to be dead. Not that bad in the whole scheme of things, but it took us a while to get there. So Corruption and Barricade work. They work. Full stop. Obviously, we'd like Dead Branch as well, but... So this is fine. This is how we'll play this. We'll take 8 damage. But now we have Barricade out there. I was going to say, the next step is Corruption. And every time... Now we want Dark Embrace whenever you exhaust the card. Draw a card. Now oh, we're only really... Barely making it through this. We're going to get one. One of them is going to steal our gold. There's no way around it right now. We have to be careful with when we pop corruption. I think it's okay to pop it like immediately. <laughs> Why not? It basically, here's the thing. We play corruption. Every shrug it off is eight block and replacing itself for free. So, dude, honestly, take my gold. I don't want your relic. I want to be able to fight this elite. 100% become cursed. No. Sorry, I can't. I almost want... And I think I'm going to go for it. Transform two strikes, please. Searing blow and cleave. Ugh. This guy gets bodied pretty hard by uppercut, which is merciful. I mean, honestly, we have to keep hitting him. Flame Barrier is just... It's what we want, but we don't... I was just gonna say, we don't want it on that turn. Let's not exhaust that, because it's free already. We will exhaust this, and this is where things are gonna get mighty interesting. Uh, I'm not gonna play Flame Barrier against you. I'd rather play it on a turn where you hit multiple times. Yo, life is pain. That's a lot of... That's five wounds? This would be a very good turn to draw into Flame Barrier, please. You, I can't be too mad. You did your best.
And then it's a one damage attack again. Okay, well... I think that's the end of this Ironclad run, and it turns out the Ironclad is no friggin' joke. Or maybe Ascension 18 is no friggin' joke. Oh, okay, keep in mind, we had, he just had eight wounds to my deck? Oh. Okay, now we're dead for real. Good lord. That, that took it out of me, dude. Ascension 18 is, is ruthless. At least we made it past the first floor. Either way, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It was a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya! Boomp.